Hello fellow aviators. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the unboxing for the ASA's CX3 flight computer. As you can see, it arrived today care of Amazon. And uh, if you want to check this out or buy it after I do the review, uh, there will be a link in the uh, description section for this. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what we have inside. This one-handed is not easy. I really should pull this my stand out <laughs> and open this up. All right, so we can set the box aside. All right, looks like we have a little quick start guide with some general instructions about how to use it, and it says something here about the complete manual is online for those of you who are wondering about why it didn't come with a manual online. I saw the reviews talking about that. Here's the manual. You just have to read this quick start guide. <laughs> it tells you where the manual's at. All right, and it looks like this is the flight computer itself, and it's really in there, so bear with me. Oh, okay, there we go. Now, this is much larger than I actually expected it to be. I, I, I imagine it being much smaller as a, of a handheld, maybe like an, one of those older handheld cell phones. But it's not. Uh, and it looks like they included the four batteries here. And they're not just like cheap batteries, they're actually energizers. That's pretty cool. I'll probably replace these with some um, rechargeable batteries because I tend to like to use rechargeable batteries for everything, especially for something that I'm going to use pretty frequently. All right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and unwrap it here and uh, put the batteries in and all that stuff. That looks like we'll just lift it out of the little case here. Now I might have to put the phone down for this. <laughs> or we might get uncomfortably close. Okay, I'll put the phone down for just one second. <laughs> Sorry about the white. Okay, so there she is. Looks nice. I'm assuming that I'm gonna pop this off here to put the batteries in. Now, it feels a little plasticky to me, like, I mean, which is fine. You know, it would've been better probably if it were like a metal casing on the back or something like that, especially for this price point. I mean, it's, it's a pretty pricey little calculator. Um, the buttons are very, very nice. Um, they have a really nice feel to them, and they're they're very large. So I guess that's probably the good thing about it being so large is that you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, f you know the buttons being so tiny that you're you know fumbling around with it in the airplane if you're trying to do any kind of calculations on the fly. So uh, that's probably pretty good. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and pause the video here, put the batteries in, and uh, turn it on. Okay, so I got the batteries in, and if you look here on the bottom, there's a little tiny, let's see if I can get it to focus. There's a little tiny notch there. If you pry that part up, it's actually pretty difficult to pry this up. I'm, you know, I was trying not to break it because it is plastic, and I didn't want the tabs to actually break. And then I noticed on the top, there's like a USB uh, mini adapter here, and I'm assuming that is to update this thing. So anytime an update comes out, we can connect this thing, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, <clears throat> but I'll have to read the full manual to, to know what that's actually for. But let's go ahead and turn it on. It says that we just need to press and hold for three seconds to turn it on. There we go. All right. And we're golden. So I'll try to keep this at an angle that you guys can actually see what's going on here, and I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, unit conversions, altitude... Cloud-based, standard atmosphere, airspeed. Let's see about airspeed. True airspeed. 110. Outside air temperature, 30 degrees. Unit Fahrenheit Celsius. <coughs> and pressure altitude, 400 feet. 
calibrated airspeed is 106. Cool. Very awesome. I uh, probably need to do some uh, setting up on this thing. 12, 22. What is the time? I have no idea. Let's see what my computer says. It says 10.52. So that is not correct. So we got to find out how we can set that. I'm assuming that uh, there is a setting somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Uh, hello, nine. Hey, there we go. Backlighting. Normal. Daylight. Go back. Time set. It is 12.02. Oh, it is in Z Zulu time. So let me check my computer for that. UTC is 17.53. So not quite right. So we'll adjust that. Fifty-three, fifty-one, fifty-three, fifty-one. Enter. <coughs> local time. Local, local is going to be. I am on. CUTC minus eight. Spec goes. That's me. Nine fifty-four. Uh, let's see. Is there a hmm? I don't see standard time. Can I set it to local time? Let's see. Is there a UTC minus eight? It's non-standard time. Hmm. Okay, well, something I'm not seeing here. Local time. Is <coughs> UTC Pacific for non-standard time? Because I'm not actually on standard time. We're on daylight savings time. Which, if the walls go through, that will be always. <laughs> so... Let's see, unit change per screen, favorite set, aircraft profile. Let's see, version 1.03, so there is a version number, so I'm assuming that. <coughs> Excuse me. Assuming that. Uh, there's a, a version update, and hopefully that uh, version update will include the option for. Uh, daylight savings time uh, because yeah it needs to be able to calculate that otherwise we're in a little bit of trouble okay so there's that okay so we're eight minutes here on this video I don't want to take the full time to uh, you know go through this thing because obviously you know you can go through the manual and check it out but it seems pretty nice um, I use this a lot in the ASA I use the um, prepware and this is like a an option that you can open inside of the prep prepware tool is one of the tools is this CX3 calculator. And so I've gotten pretty used to the control, so I know it pretty well how to use it. Um, I definitely would recommend learning exactly how to use this thing before you're going to go into an exam with it. Um, because it will help you to be able to very quickly make those kinds of uh, answers if you need to. Uh, same thing for the written exams and things like that. Uh, so that's what I use this for because I'm going to be taking the instrument, the uh, instrument airplane, and the CFI airplane, or CFII airplane, excuse me, and the commercial all very, very soon here. So I had three big tests that I'm going to be taking, uh, and I wanted to make sure that I had this thing to be able to do those calculations very quickly because the test is timed and I don't want to spend three hours in there or two hours or whatever the test time limit is for each test. Um, so I wanted to get this thing. And uh, so far, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with it. I, I like using it in the ASA prepware tool. So I assume that using this is going to be just as easy. So I need to make sure I know some of the other things like how to clear out the memory because I know that's going to be a requirement for the test. I'll have to show that I can clear out the memory. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, leave your comments and likes below. Thanks so much.